Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to a very special occasion here on the east side of Joliet uh, at the Salvation Army, the corner of 3rd and Richards. We have a ribbon cutting ceremony planned for today, and we're so glad that so many of you were able to come out and be a part. It's a little bit overcast and a little bit chilly, but we've got something important to celebrate today. Uh, we'll have a few words at this time. I'd like to invite Dr. Dutton from the Will County Health Department if he'd come up and tell us a little bit about the program known as Micro Pantries. And uh, this would be a wonderful occasion for you to learn about what it is and what it's bringing to our community. Thank you. An applause of welcome to Dr. Dutton. Yay. First of all, I'd like to thank everybody for coming out today to share uh, uh, occasion with us today because it's really important to make sure that we have available uh, and 24-7 access to food for those families that actually need that. Our micro pantry program uh, has been in, been in existence for well over maybe 10 years, but because of the pandemic and the post-pandemic, a lot of people are really suffering right now. So we want to make sure we have not only our food pantries, but also a micro pantry. Food pantries for most areas are normally open maybe once to twice a month. So in the absence of them not being open, we want to make sure there's another venue that people can actually come up and pick up food items that they may need. If you need it, you can take it. Uh, you can also drop off donations. We do accept donations for these uh, micro pantries. Uh, we are excited about doing this. Will County Health Equity Team, and we're also a part of what is called a Rise for Will County uh, co Coalition. And a Rise stands for Activating Relationships in Illinois for Systemic uh, Equity. So in doing that, again, we service all of Will County. We have a total of, today, this is number 60, 60. micro pantries. Number 60. We probably, we probably should put a number of it labeled as number 60. But we're actually in the, in the midst now of probably getting another 10 to 15 micro pantries placed throughout Will County. Uh, it takes us about three to four weeks to get those constructed and also get them installed as well. But today, I was really excited because we were able to get the media to come out and, and show the community what we're actually doing to help support them, okay? No one should feel embarrassed about coming to a food pantry because we all need help at one time or another. So it's available here. We're gonna make sure we have it on every level of social media platforms. And we're also gonna put it on the Will County uh, website as well. So again, thank you, thank you, and thank you. God bless everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I want to acknowledge the presence uh, here with us today of a number of Salvation Army board members. We have Bruce that's with us and also Alita from m and Bank. Uh, thank you guys for your leadership and your support. And applause for our, our board members, please. And Jenny, I am so sorry. I miss Jenny is here as well. God bless you, Jenny. Thank you. Uh, we are also uh, partnerships with so many different agencies all around uh, Joliet that help us to do best practices, to build relationships, and to extend our services. And uh, over the last number of years, we've developed a very strong partnership with the YMCA. And we have some great plans in store for this location and our partnership together. But Patty is here from the YMCA. Patty, thank you so much for your support. I want to acknowledge another partnership that we have, and that's with St. Francis University. Their School of Social Work sends interns from both the bachelor's and the master's degree portions to come and to uh, do on-the-job on the training and learn about social work. And so Alan and Marco are here today, and applause for our uh, interns from St. Francis University. The funding for what we do comes from so many people who make donations, who send in a check, who give online in so many ways. But just a few months ago, you may have seen some wonderful volunteers from across the county that were out ringing the bell in front of the Walmarts and the Jewel stores and Hobby Lobby and Mariano's. And just walking up for our ceremony today is one of our champion bell ringers. If I could have an applause for Brenda. Brenda's here today. <laughs> And Martin is here as well. Martin was a wonderful bell ringer, just joined our staff today. It's his first day of employment with us. So we are super grateful uh, to have so many partners that are here and people that make a difference. On a week-by-week -week basis, we deliver 
at this location a drive through food pantry on Mondays from 12 to 3 and then by appointment throughout the week. We never turn anybody away that comes for needing food. But this added dimension of the 24-7, 365, to have food here that people can come and take at their convenience when it's right for them, without any stigma, without any judgment, they are welcome to use that. Uh, it's wonderful. But there's a wonderful group of volunteers that serve every Monday uh, to deliver the food rather in a drive through format under the leadership of Kevin and Linda and so many volunteers. If you're one of our pantry volunteers, would you raise your hand? Let's give an applause to these folks. Thank you so much. It's great to have you and it means a lot that you're here today. Before we do the ribbon cutting, I wonder if you'd allow me to just read a couple of verses of scripture. Salvation Army uh, is a faith-based uh, organization as well as a Christian church. And uh, here's what it says in Isaiah chapter 58. If you spend yourselves in behalf of the hungry and satisfy the needs of the oppressed, then your light will rise in the darkness and your night will become like the noonday. As we receive folks at the pantry on Monday and now with this added dimension of the micro pantry, maybe they're feeling like they're in a dark time in their life when there's just not enough resources, there's not enough food, they've got those hunger pangs, their night will turn into noonday and their light will rise from the darkness as their, their hunger is satisfied because of the generosity of our community. In James chapter 2 it says, suppose a brother or sister is without clothes or daily food. If one of you says to them, go in peace, keep warm and well fed, but does nothing about their physical needs? What good is it? That's a great question for all of us today. What good is it? Prayers are mighty and powerful. We believe in the wonderful power of prayer. But so much more than just a word of encouragement or a prayer is when we actually step up and do something. As our volunteers have done today to deliver this beautiful piece of carpentry, this craftsmanship to deliver this beautiful micro pantry and those who donated the food, we can all do our part, can't we? We can take something or we can leave something and we can contribute to this being a pantry that serves this community. And I'll conclude with these words from Matthew chapter 25. For I was hungry and you gave me food. I was thirsty and you gave me to drink. I was a stranger and you welcomed me. That could be a summary of the mission statement of the Salvation Army and the Will County Health Department. I was hungry and you gave me food. I was thirsty and you gave me to drink. I was a stranger and you welcomed me. That's what we mean to do with this wonderful opportunity, with this wonderful resource. If you'd like to, I invite you to bow your heads with me and I'll offer a prayer of dedication and then we'll have our ribbon cutting. Gracious Lord, we thank you for this wonderful micro pantry that will be a beacon of hope and nourishment and care in this neighborhood. And we thank you for the other 59 that are like it across the county and 10 more that are in process. We give you thanks, oh God. And we ask your blessing on this structure, on these doors that will open on this cabinetry, that this community would receive from this spot hope and nourishment love and care. Bless every donor, bless every volunteer, bless all those that would be a part of this and all those who receive. And we dedicate this structure, we dedicate this micro pantry that people would be nourished and fed, loved and cared for. We pray in your name. Amen. Amen. And so now we'll take the ceremonial giant scissors and we'll prepare to cut this ribbon. And uh, once it's cut, that we could have a wonderful and a enthusiastic cheer of excitement and applause in just one moment. The good news is Dr. Dutton is also a trained battlefield medic. So if anything goes wrong with these giant scissors, we're, in, we're, we're gonna be okay. And uh, let's prepare now for the ribbon cutting. Here we go. Five, Five four, four, three, two, two one. one.
Thank you very much. With that, we'll conclude our ceremony, and thanks once again, everybody, for being here. Look forward to this being a resource for this community for many years to come, and thank you very much. May God bless you each one. Good afternoon. I'm Dr. Rob Dutton, Health Equity Manager with Will County Health Department. Uh, I'm here co-hosting with Julia Alexander from Be Informed. Today we have Linda and we also have Diane from the Salvation Army. Is that yes. correct? Yep. Of course. Yes. And uh, tell me a little bit about your experience today here. Well, to me, it just brings me lots of joy because I'm very excited for, for this to begin. And uh, it means the world to us here at Salvation Army because we always see the hunger. We always see the people coming here that they're hungry. And this way, when we're, not, when we're closed, we have a micro pantry, which is fabulous. I'm really excited and we're very blessed to have it here. How do you feel about today? Same, same thing. Um, now they can get food when we're not here. We mm -hmm. do our pantry on Monday, you know, so there's times when people are hungry when it's not Monday, you know. Exactly. And they, and they can come. And I mean, we just love it. I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled. Well, as you can see, this is going to be here 24-7, 365 days a week. If you need food, please feel free to come by and pick up whatever you need. We also do accept donations. If anyone else is watching who may be interested in getting a micro pantry installed at their location, please feel free to contact the Will County Health Department. You can actually call me. My number is 815-210-2039. Thank you and God bless. Pastor, what impact do you think this micro pantry is going to be on your community here? This is going to be a place where people can find nourishment, where they can resolve maybe a hunger pang that they have in mm -hmm. their, their stomach from being without food. And it will also relieve them of stress. Because if you don't know where your next meal is coming from, it's hard to think about the other things you need to do to move forward in life. But once you come by and you can pick up some mac and cheese and some vegetables and maybe even some personal care items or diapers for your baby, it relieves that stress and allows you to think forward and to think for about your future. And we have so many resources here at Salvation Army and around the community with the health department and other partners. Uh, so, but the first step to be able to resolve somebody's hunger, then that opens a world of possibilities. Yeah. Well, we are very excited to partner with the Salvation Army. We hope this micro pantry be a blessing to this community and everyone who actually has an opportunity to use it. Thank so, you. thank you very much. Good afternoon. I'm Dr. Rob Dutton, Health Equity Manager with Will County Health Department, Coalition Facilitator for the Arise Coalition. Uh, I'm actually here today with Patty Hall from the Joliet YMCA. Great, great. So, are you looking to get a uh, micro pantry at your location? <laughs> we may be. Okay. We partner with the Salvation Army. Okay. And Salvation Army provides us um, sports activities here and um, together we hold a very large summer camp for kids and families in the community and um, we can continue to partner. Um, I think the more resources that we can give, the better. I think that's great. Exactly. Yeah. Well, if anyone is watching this or hearing this today, we'd just like to let you know if you're interested in having a micro pantry installed at your location, please give us a call. My number is 815-210-2039. That's Dr. Rob Dutton with Will County Health Department. We are here to serve the community, and we would love to put one of these within your community as well. Okay. So thank you thank very much. You. Good afternoon. I'm Dr. Rob Dutton. I'm co-hosting for Ms. Alexander for Be Informed today. We're here today on this uh, very special day to actually uh, install micro pantry number 60 in Will County at the uh, Salvation Army here in Juliet. Uh, we're here with a, a new partner I just met today. And uh, I'd like you to tell us a little bit about your experience here today with us. Sure. My name's Alita Finney Pavnika, and I'm a board member with the Salvation Army uh, via my job at M&M Bank as the community development director. And the work we've been able to do and the things we've been able to see about our community and the needs of the people in the community teach me something new every single day. And watching the food pantries in, in action on Monday and Tuesday at the Salvation Army and the Spanish Center, there's so many people that utilize those kind of uh, uh, offerings. So a 24 hour a day, seven day a week facility that people can get food is wonderful. And thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Have a blessed day.